Hey, welcome. I'm Terry Allman, and this is Kick-Ass Outdoors. Today, we're in muskrat hunting out on a big flooded area. Can't give you a location. Top secret. <laughs> but uh, today, I'm going to show you how I set up my uh, sets for muskrat trapping in the water. I got my brand new boat and my brand new mud motor 14 foot aluminum craft 36 very stable boat love it first time bringing it out on the water here i just set a a set uh staked off in deep water using a one and a half inch uh duke coil spring I just put that just underneath the water and I don't disturb the hut. I put a carrot up there. They love carrots, they love apples, but if you use apples, you might get a chance to get a raccoon. So I stay away from apple. Uh, I've trapped uh, two <clears throat> raccoon, because usually I do a double set. Uh, 100 yards offshore. I have no clue how that happened, but I don't use Apple anymore because of that. But anyway, there's my set, and uh, we'll go make a couple more sets on a couple nearby huts. Get back to you soon. Welcome back. This is Kick-Ass Outdoors. Uh, we just set a couple more sets. It's been kind of tough with all these... Uh, cattails are down and it makes it hard for traveling through to get to the spots to trap and right now it's snowing and it's November 1st wow snow come early but this is the price of a fur trapper deal with all weather elements for the three or four dollar price tag on that muskrat but it's not the money it's the sport so we'll get back to setting it up show you how we set it up and I got my popple stakes that's what I use uh, free of charge from out of the woods and uh, paint them fluorescent orange so that way you can see them see them from a distance and now, we just stake them off in the deep water. Wrap this around a couple times. Take our trap. One and a half coil spring. And you can get that. And we just go underneath. Just like that. That way, if it does snap, it ain't going to catch your finger. And all you do, clear up a little spot, kind of pile it up, kind of funnel them in to where you want them to go. Make them easy, make it easy for them. You want that just sitting underneath the water. And you want it stable. There we go. Now, take a piece of carrot, pop it up there. That's it. That's all there is to it. Easy peasy. Nothing difficult about trapping muskrat. Now on this hut, it's pretty good size. I am going to set a double set here. Why? Because I like catching doubles. Doubles are are better. So what we're gonna do is. We 
go over here. Grab another steak. Uh, let's see what would be the best way. I think we're gonna go around the, the back side. I guess. Let's see. Well. I think what we're going to do. I'm going to go over here. That way I don't have to travel too far. It looks like they're coming up over here. See that right there? See how they climb up? Perfect little channel cut. Throw that up in the hut. Take this. I'll stick this right here. Preset my trap. This is where you do all the hard work. The first day is the hardest. <sighs> Time consuming. And you know what? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna set him like that. And Usually I like to set the trap the other way, lengthways. But, wear that bugger off a little bit. You know what, I don't like that. There we go. That's pretty stable. I mean a muskrat. What did I just drop? Oh shit. Come on, you fucking for real? I just dropped my power bank in the water. Cause I'm an idiot. Are you serious? Where'd it go? Oh, this water's cold. I wasn't even bent over that much. Oh, man. Here's another double muskrat set that I set. Got one here, and oh. it's kind of nice when you can get out the boat and walk around. It's too hard to try to. Set traps in a boat, the wind blowing you on. Oh man. Makes it, makes it difficult.
Put a couple things over there. A couple things over here. Like so. If you want to get all fancy with it. Actually, I'm going to stick him in like that. Ah, the heck with it. Give him a big old chunky carrot. I'm not going to be stingy on the carrot. Alright, on to the next one. I just wanted to also show you a toilet area. This is where your muskrats are up, huts are up in the thick stuff. They come out and they don't go to the bathroom where their huts are. They come out to these beds, toilet areas. Uh, there's also feed beds they come out to. So it's going to be a lot, it's a community thing. That's where they go to the toilet. <laughs> or feed bed. Either or. But it's a community thing. Meet and greet. And that's where I'm going to place the trap. I'm going to get back to her. See ya. Well, the muskrat traps are set. Tomorrow we're going to come out and get check them out. And now, heading back for and with a little bit of fun. Here we go.
Went the wrong way. Where's the fishies? <laughs> 